Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this polygon that has 23 sides and wants to put this circle evenly. Well, 360 doesn't divide equally into 23 times, but it could be done. We're going to go to Windows. This would be the easiest way to go to Windows Docker's transformation rotation. And I've already got it in there because I just made sure it worked. But if you have an online calculator, on-board calculator, you can go 360 divided by 23 is that number. Well, you can copy and paste that number into here. And even though it's going to say 15.7 after we do it, it's actually 15.6, but whatever, whatever. We need 23. We've already got one, so we'll go 22. Whoop. I guess it would help if you pick that item. Make sure that item is rotated. And this is dead on. I mean, every one of them is dead on center. We can, if you look, the X is right there. This is the one we started with. The X is right there. Even though this is going to say 5.7, Corel is going to extend that out. So let's back up here and just kind of show you. We're going to just kind of start over. Um, we'll just put that in. It should lock, should snap to that corner or that peak. This time, we're going to rotate it just 15.7. Look at the difference. This is dead on when we hit the... But this one is that far off just because the numbers are off. So if you will cut and paste that number in it, okay, let's say you don't have an online calculator. Just type that number in. We'll just do it again, 360 divided. Say if you're using a calculator, you've got 15.65217. And you, the further out you go, the closer it's going to be. So if you can write that down, because as soon as you click off your own onboard calculator, it's going to go away. But if we use that number, click on that and cut and paste that into our scenario. It's got all the numbers, but Corel's gonna round it up after it does it, but every one of them is dead on. So you can literally rotate any number without doing that. I think this is what he wants to do. He wants to do this and then weld it. I don't know what he's gonna do with that, but uh, it would be pretty cool if you fill it in with black red just to kind of show you what it's going to look like. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.